Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. So today we're going to look at one of my favorite Alex topics, and that's choosing a graph to fit a narrative. And this is the first one, the basic one. So what that means is we're going to get a real scenario, and we're going to attempt to figure out which graph makes the most sense. Okay? So for each scenario below, choose one of the four graphs. A roller coaster picks it up its speed on the track. So as we're going along, we're getting faster and faster and faster. So my speed should be doing either this one. Um, I don't even know how to describe this one. This one doesn't make any sense. This one's going up, this one's going down, and this one's staying steady. Okay, so I know that one's not going to work because it's not even a function. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So if I'm picking up speed, is my speed going up, down, or staying the same? So picking up speed means we're getting faster. So it's definitely that one right there. Okay. And then here, Karen drives home from work. So this one is in still time here, but instead of speed, like the roller coaster, it's how, uh, what's her distance from home. Once again, this one's not a function and doesn't make any sense, so don't pick that. So is her distance getting bigger, distance getting smaller, or staying the same? Well, assuming she's going to make it home eventually, hopefully her distance uh, she's getting closer and closer and closer to home, so the distance is getting smaller. So if she starts 10 miles away, after a little bit she'll be 9 miles away, then 8 miles away, then 7 miles away. Okay. So the distance should be going down. So we'll use that one right there. 